Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's your sister from another Mr. Lovely Fly Shy back with another video. Um, I hope you all are doing well and in good spirits and all that jazz. Um, <clears throat> so to jump right in the video, I kind of want to give you all a quick backstory on um, the making of this video and the inspo behind it. And um, <clears throat> so today, as you can see, I got dressed up and I started like taking some pictures, you know, when, I, when I'm feeling myself as per anybody, <laughs> any a millennial um, or Gen X person particularly, we're pulling out our phones, taking a picture if we're feeling ourselves. So, <laughs> um, so I started taking some pictures and um, I was like, oh, should I post one on Instagram? Because, you know, ever since I got out of jail, I still have kind of been like a little bit at odds, like about, I don't know, being um, as active as I probably once was in the past on my social media, um, an example like Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. But anywho, I was just going back and forth with myself and I was like, hmm, should I post a photo or not, blah, blah, blah. Um, long story short, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna post it to my story, blah, blah. That's no commitment, whatever. <laughs> So, anywho, um, I wind up posting the video, or not the video, excuse me, the picture to my story, and I forgot that my Facebook is actually connected to my stories on Instagram. So, whatever I post on my Instagram story, I have it connected to my Facebook story. So, I was like, oh, damn, I was like, I don't want this to go on Facebook. I don't want to post anything on Facebook. I don't even want people to know that I'm out of jail. I mean, no one... Um, that knows me and knows of the situation. I mean, no one has hit me up and said anything uh, pertaining to my release or anything. So I was just like, oh, let's just keep it that way. Let me stay hidden, God. Let me hide myself, right? And so the freaking, I don't know what I pressed, but I, I must have just accidentally just pressed um like send and it posted on my facebook story and instagram so i was just like oh dang and then that's when it came to me and in my spirit i heard why are you hiding and i want to kind i want to kind of like piggyback that statement and kind of compare and contrast that to per se like when we were children you know, and becoming like little children again. You know, um, when we would do something we didn't have no business doing when we were kids, we would hide. You know, we would go somewhere and hide because we knew we were, you know, in trouble, you know. And so that's kind of the energy that I've been in um, this past week, you know, since getting out of jail and everything like that, simply because it's just like, before I went, um, I had like posted some stuff on Facebook that like, once I got to jail, I was like really angry with myself about. Um, but again, that's kind of like getting off <laughs> topic. The point of the matter is, you know, um, you know, when we feel like the world is up against us, all the odds are stacked up against us, or, you know, we did something very embarrassing or cringeworthy or questionable, something like that, um, that we deem to be those things. Um, you know, it, it can be easy for us to want to hide, <laughs> you know, want to like crawl into a space or, or isolate ourselves and just kind of like, cut off our connection to the outside world, you know? And um, honestly, that's what I was going to do um, at first. Um, you know, because again, this is a this is a daily battle, it's a daily fight, um, you know? And the enemy certainly doesn't want to see me proceed, certainly doesn't want to see me make anything of myself. But the fact of the matter is what I've been chosen for 
and what I've been divinely selected for, that's going to call for what it is that I'm doing right now. Me connecting with you all in this way. You know, I can't run and try to hide my face. You know, all I can do is be courageous enough and show my face. Even when I've had moments of feeling, you know, um, looking back on certain things and cringe on what I have done and or feel embarrassed or ashamed or whatever the case is, you know, um, it's important that we release ourselves of those feelings because in this season, for those of you who are chosen and for those of you who have been divinely selected as well, it is imperative for you to know that in this season, there's no hiding. God has kept us hidden and has kept us safe and secluded. And, and I guess you could say in a way, isolated from the world long enough. <clears throat> and he's not going to, going to allow ourselves or excuse me, allow us to go into hiding again. If he wanted to keep us in captivity, we would have remained in mental, physical, emotional, and psychological captivity, you know? And so I think it's important that you all realize that we don't need to pay attention to the losses. You know, pay no never mind to the mistakes, the shame, the embarrassing moments. You know, all of those things is what has built us into the people we are today. And so the message God wants me to share with you all is to stop hiding, come out of captivity, free your mind and create the best life that you could have ever dreamed of that, that not even you can fathom, you know? And so um, I used the whole me accidentally posting it to my Instagram and Facebook um, as an example, simply because it was like, oh, you know, I, again, back to um, the main reasoning behind those feelings and why I didn't want to, you know, be as active on there is mainly because of, you know, what occurred prior to me going to jail and how I was posting like all this stuff, you know, I guess you could say, you know, in my own anger, I guess to vent or whatever in my despair, I posted some things and I exposed some things and, you know, all I could think once the dust settled and I came back to all I can think was, oh my God. I really let people see this. I really, you know, put this out there. And, um, you know, that's what was building and brewing those feelings inside of me of wanting to just hide and not show my face again. But God was like, no, <laughs> no, you are going to show your face. You are going to be courageous. I don't care what those people saw. I don't care how you may feel about it. What's done is done, you know? And that's what, what, you know, helps bring solace today is that nothing, you know, we go through is in vain. And as long as we can realign our thoughts and our beliefs, our behaviors with, you know, positive thoughts, positive beliefs and positive behaviors, I'm not saying that every moment of every day is going to be sunshine and rainbows. And, you know, I'm not going to say that <clears throat> those of us who are spiritually inclined and attuned, I'm not going to say that we don't go through bad days or, you know, we don't go through spiritual attacks as well, because if, if not more than anyone else, we go through it heavy, you know, um, especially those of us who have a divine calling, um, over our lives, you know, but, you know, the whole point I was trying to make is just, it's time to release what you feel or what you look at 
as shame filled or embarrassing or this or that, any type of negative emotion. It's time to release yourself from that and stop hiding you, your purpose, your will, and your determination from the world. <clears throat> It's time to allow that to shine through. It's time to step out of fear because fear is merely an illusion. It's time to step out of it. Release yourself from it, the strongholds of it, and soar <laughs> like the phoenix you were supposed to be, you know, you were intended to be. You know, um, what you, what we shall seek is already ours. You know, it really is. Everything that, you know, we wish for is within us already. It's up to us to bring it out. <laughs> That's what it boils down to. You know? So, um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> That's basically all 1111 was just on the clock, but <laughs> that's basically all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I'm on a roll. So if you guys see me posting back to back, mind your business. No, I'm just playing. No, but <laughs> no, it, it gets serious around these neck of the woods. Like when, you know, God is, is placing something on you and placing something on your heart to do. The enemy is going to try to do its damnness to stop you, <laughs> you know, to put up any type of restraints in your way any type of distractions to make you second guess it or to make you doubt yourself but do not give in you all and certainly again come out of hiding come out of captivity be the soul be the the beacon of light that god ordained for you to be i'm not saying that you know i'm holier than thou i'm not saying that i'm perfect i am none of those things i am simply me authentically I'm not trying to pretend to be anybody else. I'm not trying to um, carry on a facade for the internet. I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm just trying to be honest, be myself, and share my testimonies with you all. Because the things that I share to encourage you all is not just for me just saying it just for no reason for my help. It's because I've been there and I've done that, you know, and I don't want to see any of you go through it, you know? <clears throat> And um, I just think that it is important for us to not only war in the spirit, but war in the physical by, you know, preaching the gospel, by proclaiming the truth, you know, of this reality and sharing that with people and allowing or igniting um, that awakening with them so that you all can be on the same wavelength and frequency, you know. Um, so yeah, let me see it. Let me look at my notes to see, cause I hate when I, um, it really, I really dislike it when I'm done making a video, I, I go to rewatch it and then I'm like, Oh crap. I missed, I forgot to say this. I forgot to say that. So if you all often see me from now on looking at some notes, don't judge me, but <laughs> you know, um, it, like I said, it gets real. Um, in the spirit, you know, when you really got a message, excuse me, a message on your heart that you want to share with the world to touch people and to inspire them and to motivate them. Be, like I said, the adversary will do anything to steal that from you, but we shall proceed in spite of it all. All right. So, um, yeah, let me just look really quickly to see if I have anything else to include. And then we are going to conclude this video. So, yeah, um, yeah, so come out of isolation, come out of captivity, come out of hiding, you know, put your best foot forward, you know, put on your Sunday's best, ladies. <laughs> that is synonymous with putting on the full armor of your true essence, you know, wear your smile and wear it proud, you know, wear every facet of you proudly, confidently and boldly. You know, and it's going to show. You're going to glow. <laughs> you know, you, oh, you all, you will see. You know, actions speak louder than words. Results speak louder than words. Transformation, <laughs> first and foremost, right? 
But again, um, if you all enjoyed this video, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. Go ahead and follow me on my social medias. Um, I'll include my Twitter and my Instagram down below in the description box. And yeah, connect with me, interact. I uh, look forward to connecting with you all and getting to know you all. And um, again, just being a beacon and a token of light and love um, through this journey called life, you all. So um, yeah, now I feel like I'm back. Uh, can't even talk now. Babbling. <laughs> so um, I guess I'll end it here. I'm actually watching The Heartbreak Kid right now. So I'm going to get back to watching that. It's it's freaking hilarious. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> all right, you guys, I think that's it. Um, all right, <laughs> that's it for now. Peace and love always. And remember, come out of hiding, come out of captivity. If God wanted to hide you, girl, you would, girl, guy, girl, boy, woman, man, you know, <laughs> queen, king, king and queen you would be hidden for sure. God is not trying to hide you. God would like to lift you back up so you can rise. Yes. All right. All right, put that best foot forward, you all. Peace and love.